Okay, so let's look at how we can use two copies of this plate to form a right angle bracket. So I can keep this plate the way it is, but I want another copy of this plate that's been rotated around the x-axis so that it's standing straight up and down. So here I'll make a second copy of my plate, but I will rotate it by an angle of 90 degrees around the vector 1, 0, 0, because that's the x direction, the y direction, and the z direction. Let's render that. <clears throat> okay, so I have a, sort of a right angle bracket now, except the problem is it's clearly uh, not as tall as it is long, and I want this thing to be completely symmetrical. So it looks like I'll need to make it taller by whatever this material thickness is right here. So let's see, my material thickness is one. So this second rotated plate, I want its length to be five plus one. Oops, I changed the wrong direction. Its length was this direction. So I want that. Oh, and of course, because this five was the x direction, and if you look down here, here's the x direction, so I made it longer than the x. Um, the thing about OpenSCAD is you have to think very carefully about what you want to do before you do it. So here I wanted actually to make the y direction, no, nope, thinking. Oh, no, that's right. I wanted to make the y direction longer because this is before I rotate it. So if you imagine laying it down here, I wanted to make it longer in this direction. And then when I rotate it up, it will end up being taller. So I will make this 5 plus 1. Great, and now it's taller, and now you can see that the whole thing is symmetric, the way I would want a right angle bracket to be. Okay, let's make a new module out of this plate. I'm going to call it bracket. It's going to have a width, a length, and a thickness, just like the other one. And it's going to consist of these two copies of plate. Only now I'm going to call this, um, oh, you know what, it's confusing to do width and then length. Let's do this. I'm going to give it a length and a width and a thickness. So then when I make the plate, I'm going to make the first plate the length and the width and the thickness. But then this second one that's rotated, I'm going to make the plate the same length, but then this is going to be width plus thickness. And then, a thickness, and then the thickness will be the thickness. All right, so now I have the module bracket. I can say bracket here, and I'll make it 5, 5, 1, and we'll see what that looks like. So that looks just the same. But now if I made it 10, 10, 1, it should just work. And it did. That's so nice. Um, let's make it 6, 6, 1. Um, but let's change the material thickness to half as thick. And as you can see, the, the height of this thing got adjusted by the right thickness amount, even after the thickness is changed. So now this is a, a very flexible part that we can create a bracket of any size we want. We can use it and move it around. Pretty cool.